Good day, viewers, and welcome to your best learning hub for the sciences, Jalo Science Academy. I am Mohamed Yero Jalo. In this tutorial, I will be responding to a question posed by one of our students in biology, asking to differentiate between renin and renin. Now, if you ask a student what is renin, he or she will be tempted to say, renin is an enzyme, a proteolytic enzyme that is produced inside the stomach by gastric glands that helps in the coagulation of milk or in the cordling of milk, converting them from carcinogens into casins. Or another set of students will be tempted to say, renin is a hormone which acts as an enzyme that is produced inside the kidneys which is responsible to increase blood pressure reabsorb more water and sodium ions in the body fluid both answers will be correct but if spelt then you know of the two which one is correct so that's what i'll be taking you through now one is spelt r e double n i n the other is spelled r e n i n so just by a single n you can miss the whole idea so now what is the difference between these two i'll start with r e n n i n r e n n i n is a proteolytic enzyme that is produced by the gastric glands in the stomach so this one is produced by gastric glands that are found inside the stomach and this is not produced as renin it is produced as an inactive enzyme called Proreline This proreline is inactive So it is going to be converted into the active form by action of HCl so the hydrochloric acid is going to convert it into the active renin So this active renin is produced in infants, in babies. Its function is in the codling or coagulation of milk. converting the milk from the soluble carcinogen into insoluble casins. So let's look at it here. Let's say, for example, these are molecules of the milk. These are soluble. So this soluble, we call them carcinogen. So this from this origin that tells you they are inactive, or we say they are soluble. So they are going to be converted by renin. So renin here acts on them, solidifying, codling, or coagulating them. So it coagulates them into an insoluble substance. And we call them cords or we call them casins. So the carcinogens, soluble, converted into casins, insoluble. Okay? So during that process, it can be 
absorbed into the walls of the small intestine so that digestion takes place so we know that running running hair aids the process of digestion it aids digestion that's one and it is secreted or produced by the presence of food So we say it is secreted or produced by food presence. Okay. So this is for the raining. Now let's look at the other one, raining. R-E-N-I-N. -E this is what most textbooks, except some fewer biology textbooks, use when they are referring to R-E-N-N-I-N. -N. But this is an enzyme. This one here is a hormone functioning as an enzyme. And we know hormones are chemical messengers, whereas enzymes are biological catalysts. And its key function is to increase blood pressure and increase blood volume and helps in the reabsorption of water, body fluids, and sodium ions. Okay? It is secreted by the afferent arterioles of the kidney cortex. So the afferent arterial of the kidney cortex helps in the secretion of this. Inside there, there are cells we call the JG cells. The JG cells means the juxta glomerulus cells. Call them JG cells, okay? These cells are responsible to secrete renin. And unlike R-E-N-N-I-N, this is secreted as renin, the active form. Not like this, secreted as pro-renin and then converted into renin. And this one is associated to the RAAS system. The RAA system, that's the RAAS. This is called renin angiotensin aldosterone system now how does this raas system operates so i want you to take a screenshot of this because i'm going to erase this look at the raas system and then we finally contrast renin and Renin, meaning renin produced in the stomach and renin produced in the kidney. So let's look at the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Now, how does this RAAS system operate? Of course, this RAAS, we know it's renin angiotensin aldosterone system of course we have the liver the liver is known for producing giant proteins substances 
which are blood proteins like fibrinogen, like albumin. So the liver here is going to produce angiotensinogen. This angiotensinogen that is produced is a pre-enzyme which is a plasma protein. This angiotensinogen produced is inactive. It is an inactive substance that is produced because angio means vessels, tensin means tense, and the ogen there means not active. So it is there to tension the vessels, to increase the blood pressure, to increase the flow of blood into the other parts of the body. Now, this inactive substance is going to be converted into angiotensin 1. And its conversion is aided by renin. And renin is produced inside the kidneys. Okay. Produced inside the kidneys by JG cells. These JG cells, we call them Joxta glomerulo cells. which are produced by the afferent arterioles of the kidney cortex. So this one here is going to convert this inactive angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. This angiotensin 1 is not that active. It is not that active at all. So you have these angiotensin converting enzymes which are flowing inside the blood. So when they come into your lungs, they are found inside the lungs. So inside the lungs there, they are going to be stored as ACE. We call it the angiotensin converting enzymes. So it is going to convert this angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. And this is done by the lungs. It is the lungs that does that conversion. So the lungs produces the ACE. And this ACE, we call them angiotensin converting enzymes. So this angiotensin converting enzymes converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. This angiotensin 2 is now going to act on the adrenal glands. You know, the adrenal glands are positioned on top of the kidneys. Okay? So, the adrenal glands which you have a kidney like this this is an adrenal gland so they are going to produce aldosterone these ones here 
produces aldosterone and aldosterone is going to act on the collecting duct of the nephrons it acts on the collecting duct of the nephrons okay and thereby absorbing water Of course, you have this to be your afferent arterial. This is your efferent arterial. So, efferent and afferent arterials. You have this to be the glomerulo. Inside, you have the Bowman's capsule. This is the proximal convoluted tubule. You have the descending loop. This is the loop of Henley. This is the ascending loop. You have the distal convoluted tubule here, and you have the collecting duct. So, aldosterone is going to act on this collecting duct by reabsorbing water and when it reabsorbs water and sodium ion it is going to what increase the blood pressure okay it increases the pressure of the blood so that is what the aldosterone that is produced does okay so when the blood pressure is increased and it also increases the volume of the blood so this one occurs as a result of decrease blood pressure or as a result of increase in the total or overall osmolality of the blood so this situation happens to hyperactive the blood what we refer to as hypertension so this is the renin angiotensin aldosterone system and this is how it operates so this entire process is triggered by renin so this is the function of renin to increase the pressure of the blood so finally let's look at the contrasting factors between r e double n i n and r e n i n Uh, one this hair is an enzyme renin is an enzyme this one is a hormone okay acting as an enzyme the second difference this one is secreted as prorenin this one is secreted as renin so, this one is secreted in the stomach
So this is secreted in the stomach by gastric glands. This one is secreted in the kidneys by the afferent arterioles of the kidney cortex. The fourth difference is this one aids digestion. This one here increases blood pressure. This one is secreted or released by presence of food. This one here is secreted as a result of low blood pressure, okay? or decreased blood pressure or the increase in the total osmolality. So these can be the differences between renin and renin. Of course, thank you very much for watching this video you can like our video subscribe to the channel if you are new hit the notification bell to be notified each time we release a new video you can like our facebook page jalo science academy and you can also join our telegram channel jalo science academy thank you for watching this video and don't forget never stop learning because the last time i checked those that stopped learning have stopped living